Hi, it's a rainy day here in the South London Blues Delta, so it's time to make another of my lesson videos. This one's about one of the most influential guitarists of all time, Chuck Berry. From fellow rock and rollers like Little Richard, through the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, Beach Boys, 70s rockers like Ted Nugent and Steve Gibbons, blues rockers like George Thorogood and ZZ Top, even new wavers and punk rockers like Eddie and the Hot Rods and the Sex Pistols, many guitar-based rock bands have been influenced by Chuck Berry's distinctive playing and songwriting. Chuck's own influences came from early electric guitarists such as Charlie Christian, T-Bone Walker and Carl Hogan, as well as his Chess Records label mate Muddy Waters. Before I show you the five licks that I've picked out from Chuck's long career, I must mention that I've written a downloadable PDF document containing notation and tab. If you're watching on YouTube, look in the About section below the video. If you're watching on Facebook, I'll post a link as a comment to the video. Another thing I must say is that I'm going to play all of these licks in the key of A. Actually, Chuck Berry hardly ever used guitar-friendly keys like E, A and D. Most of his songs were played in piano-friendly flat keys like B flat, E flat, A flat and D flat. This may be a testament as to how much Chuck's songwriting owed to his piano player Johnny Johnson. The first of these five licks derives from the intro that Carl Hogan played on Ain't That Just Like a Woman by Louis Jordan. Chuck simply turned some of the single notes into double stops and used this as the intro to classics such as Johnny Be Good. The second lick is a variation on the first. In this one, Chuck adds the sort of fast, impressive sounding descending single note run that shows us why it's so important not to neglect your little finger when you practice. Our third Chuck Berry lick is the one that he used to answer some of his vocal lines in No Particular Place to Go. The notes E and G are the 5th and minor 7th in the key of A. This is a very common combination of notes in the blues. I would say there's a definite nod to the style of Muddy Waters in this lick, but as always Chuck makes it his own. We've already established that Chuck Berry favours double note playing as well as descending melodic lines and this fourth lick is no exception. This one uses thirds. You may recognise it from Sweet Little Sixteen. Like many blues and jazz influenced guitarists, Chuck often uses chromatic approach notes in his playing. In our fifth lick, see how he hammers on to the notes that resolve the tension in this descending sixths run, which is similar to what he played in Memphis, Tennessee. So that's our five essential Chuck Berry licks. I hope this helps you with your own rock and roll playing. As I sit here making this video, Chuck is touring Europe at the age of 87, an inspiration to us all. See you next time.